Yo, first and foremost, I need to apologize. I need to apologize to Logan Taylor, Trevor Gage, Big Muscles Gatton. And last but not least, I need to apologize to... You're going to have to wait on that next one. This isn't the time. But I need to apologize because I feel like I have not been giving the proper attention to my boys. And I have not been giving the proper attention to the biggest RSW title match in this company's history. See, I've been around Real Shoot Wrestling for a long time. And Dustin didn't lie about a few things. Dustin has bled buckets in Buckhannon. Dustin has retained a championship more than once in Buckhannon. But what Dustin Alexander has not done is faced this Logan Taylor in a high-profile match. I will not sit here and belittle the name of Dustin Alexander like he is not a great champion. I will not belittle the talents that that man possesses. But what I will do is tell you, whoever's listening, and anybody else on this planet who might need to hear it, that Logan Taylor is one of the greatest professional wrestlers on this planet, and I will fight over that. But I won't have to be the one fighting. Logan will. So this Saturday, in Buckhannon, Logan Taylor brings the big one back to the unappreciated. And then we move forward continue the ascent to the top of the ranks of West Virginia independent wrestling. See you soon, RSW. Dustin Alexander, we trained together. You always thought you were better than me. Uh, I'm the best. I'm the lightweight goat. I'm the most popular wrestler here. And Dustin Alexander, I'm going to beat you with an inch of your life, boy. I ain't just looking to win that title. I'm taking years off your career because whenever I was set and doing the undercard, you were in the main event, but I deserve it. I've had to sit here and listen to you whine and cry all over Facebook talking about Dustin's in the main event and I was wrestling the first. You wanna know why, Logan? Cause I'm just that much better than you. Cause I don't cry when I don't get what I want. I go out there and I bust my ass and I get it done. Next weekend, I'm gonna show you what hard work and busting your ass does.
Inception Champion. They are coming to the ring tonight by Baker, representing the unappreciated from Bloody Mingo, the killer, Logan Taylor. What a history these two men have. Real Shoot Wrestling, the battleground for their final face-off here, the trainer, here to death, Cole Cash, coming back after a five-year long absence, 20 plus years in the ring experience, giving Logan Taylor the first shot. Not much behind that. Student versus teacher as Cole Cash trained Logan Taylor. Does not like the direction and the attitude of Logan Taylor and what he's seen from him in RSW. Logan Taylor constantly complaining that he's not appreciated and unappreciated. Cole Cash shrugging those blows off, but Logan Taylor firing himself up here. Cole Cash says Logan Taylor will never be the same after this match. He came out of retirement to teach Logan Taylor a lesson in respect. He's doing just that. Logan Taylor so confident in himself. He's put his pro wrestling inception title on the line from another organization. Cash retired to go into training. That's when Logan Taylor comes into the picture. Gets trained and ascends to the tag team champion ranks through very nefarious means and his manager Bake as well. And Cole Cash had seen enough. He'd been watching from afar and made his way down to the ring last two weeks ago. And challenged Logan Taylor to a match. Fakes him out there, and just a slap across the jaw. Oh, Cash, showing why he is the teacher. The Violence Academy, I'm sure Cole Cash has been rolling around in the ring, probably preparing with Vance Desmond, his longtime partner. At the Violence Academy, where Logan Taylor was trained. Logan Taylor saying he's going to finish Cole Cash's career once and for all here tonight at the Elk Stampede. Logan Taylor jawing with the audience, had his back turned. I don't know what the hell he was thinking there. Cole Cash, all he had to do was wait for Logan to turn around. Fans holding up signs in the crowd saying, Cash is going to kill you. Finally, something gets through on Cole Cash, but he quickly answers back with a more devastating double chop. A headbutt to the bridge of the nose. Making their way to the entrance area and now back. My goodness. The force behind those chops. Cole Cash still possessing that incredible power. And just dumps Logan Taylor upside down on the ring apron. There's the cover. Oh, Cash, if he wins uh, the Pro Wrestling Inception title, he may come out of retirement as a champion. Logan yeah. Taylor finally mounting some offense here. Logan Taylor putting all the strength that he has into those elbows. And Cole 
Joe Cash runs it off and German suplexes him, carries him around like a small child and throws him on the back of his head. But that ring rust, that time out of the ring is catching up with Cole Cash. He doesn't have the wind in his lungs. He doesn't have that conditioning, that ring conditioning for which there is no substitute. Cole Cash, plotting his next move here. Logan Taylor calling himself a killer. And Logan Taylor is going to have handprints all over his torso for the next two or three days. Clear. Shot right to the jaw. Cole Cash seems to be toying with his protege now. He sees fit to take a breather and see if Logan Taylor is going to force Logan Taylor to crawl back to his feet. Nice strategy here from Cash. Logan Taylor laying in about everything he can muster with those elbows once again. That seems to be the one weak point of Cole Cash. Now he's managing to chain some offense together. Taylor, high risk, we don't see that often, and diving elbow from the top, forearm rather. Cash seems to have hurt his right shoulder. Cole Cash is screaming in pain at the right shoulder. He might have separated it. Might have went out of the socket. Dislocated, perhaps. Oh, that shoulder's just... Looks like that right arm is out of commission. That right arm has just got nothing behind it. And Logan Taylor with vicious knee strikes to the chin of Cole Cash. He might have knocked him out. Cole Cash unable to defend himself. Logan Taylor gets the wind over his teacher. Alexander, it's almost time, motherfucker. 
it's almost time for you to learn just how good I am. Because yes, we did train together, but I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again right now. You have always thought you were better than me. And that's not true. Logan Taylor is the most violent wrestler in this state, in this territory. Logan Taylor is the lightweight king. And Saturday in Buckin, and I'm going to become the RSW heavyweight champion. And Dustin, you, your wife, and all of the fans that never believed in me, they will have no choice but to appreciate me. Dustin, I really, at one point in my life, did love you just like a brother. And I still do respect you. You're a great wrestler, and I'll never be able to take that from you. And I'm not going to sit here and lie, because I don't lie. I'm honest. You're a great wrestler, but you're not better than me. Your championship run, it's been something, but it's not been the biggest championship match until my name was involved. So you're welcome for the free press, and Saturday, you're welcome for your last match. I'm gonna take years off your career. I'm going to take years off of your life. You, your wife, the fans, the rest of the company, can sit back and appreciate Logan Taylor and realize just how bad they messed up when they casted that nasty judgment upon myself. See you soon, Dustin. Let's 
Vasquez really got him locked up on that left arm. But there we go with Kaizak counterattacking. Kaizak going to try and dislocate that left elbow of the champion. Justin has an answer here. Nicely done by Big D. And he's got the front of the arm right across the larynx of Kryzak, but Kryzak able to gain some wrist control and shift the tide in his favor. Hard stiff right from Kryzak. Kryzak with authority sends him into the opposite corner. Dustin, however, attempting to fight back, but got caught once again on that left arm. And it looks like Kryzak has found his target. Look at that offense to the arm. Possibly going to look to damage that arm and then apply a submission hold and gain the RSW title by a submission from Dustin Alexander. This crowd really behind Big D. And uh, questionable yet tactic there from Kryzak, pulling it to hair to stop the momentum, and Kryzak again to that left elbow, standing on the, the fingers now of Dustin Alexander, and some innovative offense there from Kryzak, he sent on the arm. One count on the champion. Isaac again torquing on that elbow. And unfortunately for the real shoot wrestling heavyweight champion, he's fallen right into the game plan of Shane Krizak. Trying to bridge up there, but can't quite do it. Krizak. Kryzak answers with an elbow to the bread basket. I'll tell you, if Shane Kryzak can get an arm bar on that arm, I think we may have a new RSW heavyweight champion. Kryzak putting all of his weight down on that elbow, but Alexander adjusting his position to no avail. Kryzak hooks both legs, and this time a two count on the champion. Kryzak slowly working his way to that three count, or submission of course. Kryzak letting out a tribal scream there as he pulls back as hard as he can on that elbow and working on the wrist. Kryzak can practically smell that championship. And if Kryzak continues to have his way with the champion here, we're going to have a new champion. Cries 
Zach's confidence has reached about the maximum level. He's got the champion down. He stomped him out. Doing a little trash talking. But Kryzak needs to realize he's really going to have to pull something big out of his hat to dethrone Dustin Alexander as the real shoot wrestling heavyweight champion. Kryzak trying to toy with the champ, but Alexander shows will have none of it. However, Kryzak's just done too much damage. And Kryzak thinks he's out. Not so. I'm surprised Kryzak hasn't attempted a submission hold on that arm yet. Kryzak now preferring the strikes, apparently. Perhaps he understands the resolve of Dustin Alexander and doesn't think he'll submit under any circumstances. Back and forth they go! Double cross body! This may be a great opportunity for RSW Heavyweight Champion Dustin Alexander to recover. Trying to will Alexander back into the match, which he really hasn't gotten much offense at all during the course of this match. Both men up about the same time. Dustin walking with that left arm and now paying the price. This is why it's a heavyweight championship match, cries at. Your usual effort isn't enough. Zach practically pulled the 
less than 48 hours away from the biggest match in RSW history, the biggest title match in RSW history. Logan Taylor, Dustin Alexander, one time only. You know, Logan, I'm, I'm preparing myself for this match and I was going back, reading everything you had to say and everything's typical Logan. But you know, there's one thing for me that stuck out. That was when you said you were gonna return me to my wife a bloody mess. And you know, Logan, it's so funny to think about something like that. Cause I have no problem with that, Logan. Hell, I bled a bucket right there in Buckhand in West Virginia to defend another title that I held. But the question is, are you willing to do that, Logan? You're one hell of a fighter and you're great with all your little buddies there. But are you willing to be the man? This Saturday in Buckhand in West Virginia, we're gonna figure out if you have what it takes or you're just another pretender.
imitated. It's never duplicated. It is RSW. And you know what that means. It is Real Shoot Wrestling. Your RSW president, Sean Pugh, joining you as we are 24 hours away from one of the biggest shows in this company's history. 24 hours from now, we are going to be at the K Lounge here in Buchanan. 7 p.m. bell time. $10 is going to get you in the door to see one of the greatest wrestling shows in this state's history. It happens tomorrow night right here at the K Lounge in Buchanan. Biggest title match in Real Shoot Wrestling history. It happens tomorrow night. We're talking about the man, the champion himself, RSW champion, the Big D, Dustin Alexander. Going to be taking on Logan Taylor, one half of the RSW Tag Team Champions, tomorrow night here at the K Lounge in Buchanan. And something that's turned awfully personal. You don't want to miss it. It happens tomorrow night at the K Lounge in Buchanan. And folks, I don't take it lightly when I say one of the best shows ever and one of the biggest title matches in this company's history. Plus, RSW Junior Heavyweight Champion, Air Duzan, going to be taking on Zach Vincent. And hometown boy, the Reaper Matt Connor, going to be taking on Violent Vance Desmond in a match that has the potential to be match of the year. Anthony Rucker going to be taking on Shane Kryzak. And the Big Tater Gang going to be taking on Mount Kilpiss. One of the biggest cards in RSW history. 24 hours from now, right here in one of the greatest wrestling towns in all of West Virginia, Buckhannon, West Virginia, the K Lounge here in Buckhannon. Again, bell time scheduled for 7 p.m. Doors are going to open about 6 p.m. And $10 is going to get you in the door. Folks, if you like violence, you're not going to want to miss RSW as tomorrow night we teach you the art of violence right here at the K Lounge in Buckhannon. Introducing first, the challenger, being accompanied to the ring tonight by Fiona Desmond from Three Mile Island, Violet Vance Desmond! Opponents. He is the Real Shoe Wrestling Heavyweight Champion from Cleveland, Ohio. It's the Big D, Dustin Alexander. Hey, 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 hey.
last time they, these two met, Vance Desmond was sent crashing through the stage courtesy of the RSW Heavyweight Champion Big D, Dustin Alexander. Violent Vance, no doubt with revenge on his mind, bringing his young daughter Fiona out to the ring and managing to get a small girl booed by the audience somehow. He's wanting his daughter to see him get that revenge on Dustin Alexander. A real insulting maneuver there from Vance and it incenses the heavyweight champion, Big D. Dustin Alexander gets reversed and now Violent Vance looking to the elbows to the back of the head there. And now Violent Vance has got him trying to get a, now these two are just rolling around here for, for position. Into the ropes now. Some real bad blood between these two. I would say Vance has likely instructed his young daughter to do something during this match, so we'll have to keep an eye on her. Now blowing uh, over top of that car. Oh, what a shot there from Big D. And Violent Vance fires back. Real back and forth action thus far. Jock Samp, I, knew, I can't believe I forgot to mention Jock Samp and the special referee for this match. An independent wrestling legend. Nobody home from that drop kick for Violent Vance. Jock Sampson, of course, uh, well known in Ohio and West Virginia and Canada. Known for his uh, insults and mic work to the crowd. Crowd's counting along here with the uh, RSW Heavyweight Champion. Vance has said that. Uh, Big D Dustin Alexander never pinned his shoulders to the mat, so he never beat him. And Dustin Alexander looks to change that. Man says he's looking to become the king of real shoot wrestling and the true heavyweight. Big D, nice deep arm drag, and again. Him up. Picture of perfect body slam from Dustin Alexander. Alexander measuring him here. Nice backbreaker. As Nicolia on the outside. Cheering on the champion. Driving, uh, diving elbow there. Jock Sampson makes the count, but it's only a two. Justin Alexander calling for it. Gonna lock in perhaps a sharpshooter. Gonna make Vance Desmond tap out in front of his young daughter. There it is, locked in. Let's see the will of Vance Desmond. He's got a big heavyweight championship opportunity. And it's uh, fading quickly right before his eyes. Can't tell whether he's on the ropes or not. My vantage point isn't the best. Vance did indeed make it to the rope. Oh, I believe uh, Fiona, Vance Desmond's daughter, might have been getting involved there. And that allows Vance to turn the tide and turn the momentum in his favor. And there's that trademark Vance. 
Max Desmond, Centon Elbow Drop combination. That could be enough to declare a new RSW Heavyweight Champion, but only a two count. Jock Sampson, maybe a little slow on that count. I can't imagine that Violent Vance and Jock Sampson have a good relationship. Vance just driving the head into the mat. Unique offense from the veteran. Nicolia trying to get this crowd to will Dustin Alexander back into this match. Now Alexander counters, but countered again by Marlon Vanson to a DDT. We're going to have to invest in a headlight here. Only a two count. Some sort of high powered spotlight. Now Violent Vance got him where he wants him it seems. Vance hoists him up on the shoulders. We're gonna see that forward rolling slam. Indeed we do. Going up top, this didn't work out for him last time. But he hits the big frog splash, a lot of air, a lot of hang time. That's it. Is that it? I believe Big E Dustin Alexander got his shoulder up at the last split second. Jock Sampson saying it was only a two, he couldn't stop his hand in time, but the pinfall was that close. I'm gonna stop the stalling. Violent Vance Dustman is on the verge of becoming the RSW Heavyweight Champion, proclaiming he's gonna stop his skull in. Alexander fighting back from his knees. Takes a 360 clothesline there from the challenger. Violent Vance getting admonished now by special referee Jock Sampson. The heroic hillbilly they call him. Vance now complaining to the referee is, oh look at this, Vance's young daughter is choking, choking Dustin Alexander. Unbelievable Vance Desmond, your parenting skills are a disgrace. Involving his young daughter to cheat on his behalf, I've seen it all. But he can't make the cover. Dustin is out of it. I believe he hit that power bomb practically on instinct alone. Now Dustin's gonna make his way to the top. Vance, oh, booted Josh Sampson into the ropes, causing Dustin Alexander to crotch himself on the top turnbuckle. A, a desperate yet wise move from Violent Vance. And now Vance has once again gained the upper hand. Up high. Gonna try and take Dustin Alexander off that top rope. He does so. Dustin Alexander's in a lot of trouble now. Fortunately, he bounced off the apron and landed on his 
stomach and knees there. Both men down. Vance, that power ball took a lot out of Vance. Her superplex as well. Dustin Alexander practically out on his feet here. But he's managing to fight on. That's why he is the Real Shoot Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. But Vance found home for a kick. Vance with a brain buster. That's got to be it. Vance not making the cover. Vance yelling at his daughter, trying to give instructions to his daughter to help in some sort of double team. Vance calling for a moonsault. The Dust Alexander. Still got a little bit left in the tank. Man, it's taking way too much time. Gus Alexander's got him around the waist. Takes him over. Vance off the top rope, back suplex and down. Vance is out of it. Dustin Alexander, that took about all he had left. Nicole trying to will Dustin Alexander to roll over and Cover Violent Vance. Both these men are completely spent here. They meet in the center of the ring and off to slug it out. Looks like Alexander is somehow getting the best. No, Vance had that scouted. Justin Alexander missing a kick there, a back flip kick. Now Vance is going to look to finish him off. I can't believe he's standing after that back suplex. Hooks him. Lance him down with a butterfly slam there. Power ball of sorts. Vance once again. It's the Centon. Those high risk moves been really paying off for Vance. This might do it. No. Vance is now beyond frustration, crashing his hands into the mat. Vance has tried about every offensive maneuver he can think of, and still Dustin Alexander kicks out. Wait a minute. Almost had him in the old small package. And there's Vance. Crescent kick to the jaw, sends Alexander to the outside. Vance is on the top. Oh my God. Stops him. And that's the game. Stops him out on the apron. Oh, Dustin Alexander's got to be done. There's no coming back from that. That's it. We've got a new RSW champion. No. How did Dustin Alexander kick out of that? I'm going to stomp his head in. 
from the top. Vance once again proclaiming he's going to stop the skull of the RSW heavyweight champion Dustin Alexander. That top rope has really paid dividends for Vance Desmond. He's been in control almost the entire match. He's hit several top rope moves. Did he hit this? No! Alexander caught him! Spinebuster! Will that do it? No, Alexander going in again and he hits the stop on Vance Desmond. He's gonna beat him with his own maneuver. He does!